it's always, you know, when you win on the road, um, it's always great. Um, you know, they're a great team. Um, give them credit. They're fighting for their lives, so they played hard. Um, you know, they, they, they made us work at the end. Um, so it feels great, you know, when you get a win like this. You know, everybody played good. So um, you always get a good feeling from that, and hopefully, you know, we can continue, you know, doing that in practice and, you know, in the next, uh, next two games. Kurt talked a lot about your defense today. Um, how big of a focus has that been for you, and if so, why? Um, it's, it's been a lot of focus on that. I've been spending a lot of you know, time there. Just, you know, I, I got a little bit of a different role this year, um, you know, coming back from injuries and all that. Um, so I'm trying to, you know, like I said, you know, the last time, just trying to do whatever it takes to win the ball game. Um, and, you know, we clearly have guys that can go get a bucket. I mean, Plummer had 23 at the first half. So when you got guys on the team like that and you got, you got a guy like me that can identify those kind of things, you know, I just come in and, you know, we need a defense, and that's just what I did to win the ballgame. Andre, what is, since you've come back from the injury, what's changed as far as in the, within the game? Has it slowed down, or what has been the difference? Um, I think nothing has really changed much, um, just other than, you know, a different role. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm a good enough player to kind of, um, you know, believe in myself and, and, and believe in the role that I got to do. You know, I may not have to score 20, 30, and 15 assists. I mean, just have to play some defense, and you know, that's that's. I, I, I'm just thinking on that, and I'm going at every game with that mentality. I'm gonna do whatever you know, the team needs me to do to win the ball game. Andre, do you feel like you kind of get in a little bit of your swagger back here, the way you played the last couple of games? Um, yeah, um, it's not there yet, but you know, slowly getting there. Um, you know, we we have few games left, but if you really think about it, there's plenty of you know time. Um, to get a rhythm going, um, I definitely feel a little bit better. Um, so it's just a matter of time, um, you know, for me to, to click and you know with everybody else. And once that happens, um, it's gonna be you know it's gonna be fun. This is the second weekend in a row road game in Michigan. Trent, you know, comes up with a huge three at the you know, end of the game. Just how much do you guys trust that he's probably gonna come through in those moments? My eyes closed, man. I don't know if you go back. I was already running back. <laughs> Like, a uh, hell of a kid, um, works hard, it's vet veteran. Uh, I trust that guy with my eyes closed. I mean, he can go get one whenever he wants. He can get an assist whenever he wants. He's done a hell of a job. Um, you know, he, he might have had a, a different thought um, coming into this year just, you know, because I was supposed to be the guy with the ball and all that. But, you know, he came in, prepared. I, I'm guiding through it. Like. I'm a point guard, so I'm trying to help him as, as much as I can. He listens. So, man, like, I, my eyes closed. I trust that guy. You look like you're okay. Your neck, you're kind of... Yeah, 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 it's just I'm all right. Hopefully tomorrow, you know, I don't wake up stiff or anything, but uh, I'm hurting a little bit, but nothing to worry about. What, what's the concern there, Andre, just given what the year's been? I mean, when you're on the floor, did you think, like, shoot, here, here we go again, or how did you kind of process that at the moment? So there we go. After that screen, <laughs> given the year you had, how did you kind of process that in the moment? I mean, was there a level of fear there? What was that like? Uh, I definitely, because I, I felt like like a little some like down my neck, um, so I, I was like a little bit worried. But you know, I was I was able to get up and you know heat up the game, uh, momentum, all that, ground line, and, and all that stuff. Like you just get up and you just keep playing. Um, so, but like I said, hopefully tomorrow I wake up, you know, just like I just like I'm now. This game feel as close to you guys back like how you felt in August before the season. I mean, obviously you guys were excited about what you had. Was this as close as, as you maybe have seen this team come to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I can agree with that. Um, like I said, I think we still have some room to improve. I mean, obviously every team should have that. Um, but I think we're getting close to 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 the team that that we gotta be, you know, down the stretch for that big tournament, March Madness. Um, it's just a matter of time and, you know, continue to do our thing in practice and just coming out every game and, you know, play like this with the same energy. Andre, you got to get in the pick and roll a couple times today. I think it was really too. Is that something that's starting to develop again like it was last year? Definitely, definitely. Um, with time and, and, you know, as the games go by in practice, you know, practice, practice um, tends to get a little bit shorter now that we're almost done with the season. But um, with, you know, the amount of reps that we get and, and you know, just coming in, shoot around and, and all that stuff and, you know, in the game, just doing it as much as we can. Um, I'm, I'm a guy, I, I'm not going to force much. Like, I'm, I'm, like if I don't got to be in the ball screen, like, I, I'll run to the court and let Trent run it. So, like, you know, whenever I have the opportunity, I'm going to take it and, you know, if it's there, it's there. And if not, you know, like, like we did today, he, he got
got like two seals, I was able to shoot a layup. So it's an advantage of, of having a guy like him because you know you can work with a pick and roll. You can drop it up to him. You can throw the love. You can make a layup. If they go on, you can, you know pull up um, and things like that. So it's definitely an advantage, and you know we we get it for sure. Yeah, just once again, like I, I'm just gonna do, you know, whatever it takes to to win the ball game. And you know, today, the coach spoke about defense. So like, if defense is what I gotta do, I'm gonna do it. If I gotta handle the ball 40 minutes, I'll do it. Um, if I gotta go get a bucket, I'll try and do it. Like whatever it is, you know, I'm I'm at the point where where you know I've, I've been hurt and you know I haven't played a lot, so I can't really be expecting much. Um, I'm just coming in, you know. With my mental, you know, free, um, not expecting anything, and just coming out and playing as hard as I can. What sparked the hair change? Say that again. What sparked the hair change? Uh, <laughs> just my teammates, I guess. You know, you see Trent with braids, you see Jake with braids. Other people have been saying, oh, we should get a braid.